Hello and welcome back to Cobblers Vauxhall today where we're reviewing the 2-0 defeat to Cheltenham Town in the first leg of the playoffs. The game has literally just finished. It's been about 20-30 minutes since the game was ended and of course it was 2-0 to Cheltenham. Disappointing really. We're going to be chatting all about it in this video. Let's go on and look at the game. So I'd say, you know, you look at the lineup and the lineup definitely was an interesting thing. You know, you've seen... Uh, Steve Arnold get the start. Basically, my team prediction was basically near enough correct. Uh, Oli Inca got on the start, and he got set. Oli Inca had a fantastic game, even though we did lose 2 0. Um, you know, a penalty shout, well, we got the penalty, didn't we, early on? Uh, Ryan Watson sadly missed the penalty. Then the first goal for Cheltenham Town, poor defending really from the Cobblers. Zonal marking, Keith Cow calls it as his didn't thing worked for us. But we still carry on. There's a lot of penalty appeals in the game. Um, probably say yeah, four or five penalties, maybe easily could have been given towards the Cobblers, but they weren't to be. Um, and then, of course, Cheltenham got their goal late on uh, to make it 2-0. I think 1-0 going away from home is bearable, sorry, um, but 2-0 is going to be a really big ask. I felt the game, um, you know, we st we had glimpses, we had really good spells, um, you know, the play where uh, Callum Morton squared across to Oliver, he's gone to hit it first time, he just doesn't have a weak foot, um, and that's a shame on Oliver, but I felt, you know, they nullified us really well. Um, we've got to give credit to Cheltenham as well. You know, we looked at their danger men, and to be fair, Ryan Broom, okay, he was class, he wasn't that good, I think the back three was solid for Cheltenham Town. Uh, Hussey as well on the left back, I've got to say, he was fantastic. Um, and I've got to say, Cheltenham were just all round brilliant and they brought on, you know, Rohan Ince for the last 10, 20 minutes just to shut up shop and um, he did the fantastically well. And, you know, you hate you hate to see it when other teams really nullify you really and, and they Cheltenham did nullify us, you know. Uh, we did have a good, like I said, we did have a good few chances in this, but, you know, it wasn't to be on the day. And, you know, maybe on the away leg now, well, the away leg with 2-0 down, we're going to go full attack mode. You know, I think the substitutes questionable really I maybe would have brought on Harry Smith earlier maybe just use brought on Pollock maybe for some fresh legs or Chris Lines um you know and it's the debate there really I think Vidal and Oliver didn't have the best of games I felt like they really knew how he was going to play uh, which is sad you know because you know Vidal and Oliver, Vidal and Oliver really had a good season um which is a shame uh, of course we really missed Hoskins I really did feel like we we missed Hoskins um, especially in the penalty because I do think Hoskins would have buried the penalty um, but it's a shame, you know, we did 2 0 down now, but like I said, it's still 90 minutes to be played. You've got to be optimistic as we go to Cheltenham. Um, it's going to be um, a difficult ask, but, you know, fingers crossed we can get something out of it. Um, like I said, all your thoughts, guys, get it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. So let's have a look at the player ratings. <laughs> Now on to match ratings, and I've gone starting off with Steve Arnold. I gave him a six. I don't think he'd done much really wrong. I just felt the two goals he couldn't really do much about. And it's a kind of the same for the defence. Charlie Good, Jordan Turnbull and Scott Waterman just gave him all solid fives. Charlie could maybe push it at six and we had a few attacking opportunities from his throw-ins. But like I said, the defence didn't really do that much. Um, we can see the two goals at the end of the day. Um, you know, the, the second goal, you could say maybe Turnbull wasn't good enough. The first one, you'd just say zonal mark in the whole people in the box who just stood there. Um, so, you, you know, it's hard to really call on that. Um, Alan McCormack, I gave a five. I just didn't feel like he was really impacted in the game. When we had Alan McCormack back fit, you're like, yes, but this game, I just didn't think he'd done anything. Ryan Watson, I gave a four, just because I just felt he missed the pen. Um, his head went, and I just, I didn't even see him on the pitch. I'm not being funny. Um, I didn't think he was that good of a player, but, you know, um, you've got to lift your heads up and uh, hopefully he can prove himself um, prove himself wrong to me, especially in the second leg. Oli Inka, I gave a seven. I think he was probably the only player who really changed us. Um, had some good two glimpses um, and he felt bad for the lad. Really wanted him to score. Um, you know, he's got a gr really bright future. Um, such a young age and, and he's such a very great ball uh, player at his feet. Um, just an outstanding player and um, definitely someone for the future. Nicky Adams and Michael Harriman have both got six to two. I'll say Harriman was... Probably very, very well, I would say, class at uh, the defensive duties today, uh, well, uh, as the game. Uh, Nicky Adams, you know, not really giving him the ball much. You know, that's where we score our goals, so we've got to get him more. Of course, teams understand now that Nicky Adams is our threat. Uh, and Michael, sorry, Oliver, sorry uh, Verdain, Oliver and Callum Morton. Verdain, Oliver, I gave a 5 2 just because I felt he didn't really do anything. And Callum Morton, I gave a 6 2. And the serves, Harry Smith, Paul Anderson, um, 
and Andy Williams. I just felt they were all don't really deserve a rating. They didn't really do much when they came on. It's hard to really give someone um, you know, a rating, especially Harry Smith. He wasn't on for long. Um, and that's my uh, match ratings. Now, on to your Twitter and Facebook review. We put out uh, straight after the game your guys' thoughts, and we've had a fantastic response. So thank you for everyone who has got, um, let us know your thoughts. I'm going to try and fit as many as I can in the video. So let's move on to your guys' thoughts. <laughs> So now on to the fans' reaction. I want to say again, thank you so much for the support we've had. That's so many comments, and it's so hard to fit them all in. Uh, but don't you worry, guys. I do a sports show on NLive Radio Monday morning. I will fit as many comments as I can in the show if you don't get involved in this video on Cobbler's Vlogs. So the first one is from Liam Miller, and he said, Totally nothing going forward. Carl's only way of playing is to hoof the ball to the attackers and hope for the best. He won't take us anywhere. Cheltenham have the third best defence in the league going off the amount of goals conceded, and we won't be scoring two two or three at their place, tie is done, boring football and Keith Curl out. So we don't have happy Cobbers fans and probably a lot of these comments, I've had a good few 30, 40, 50 comments, a lot of them are wanting Keith Curl out, of course Keith Curl's contract does run out at the end of the month. Um, do you want Keith Curl in? Do you want Keith Curl out? Let us know in the comments below. Um, in my personal opinion, I don't think he should be sacked uh, or let go, just because I think the aim was playoffs, he's got playoffs. So what else can you really ask from him? Of course, you've got. Also, of course, you can ask some angry fans. I'm, I was very disappointed. I don't felt. I didn't feel sorry that we played with enough passion, really. There, but you know, you can't win over every single Cobbers fan. Another comment from Joe J Judkins. I think. I hope, I hope I have pronounced your surname correctly. It says a couple of decisions should have gone our way. I thought Morton should have not been took off. Their keeper was in great form tonight. In my opinion, we were the better team, but just couldn't put our chances away. Um, the referee is hard to give. You know, I've had a lot of comments, people saying we should have had some more pens. Okay, we could have had five or six. But then if a referee gives six penalties in a game, it's going to get looked at. You know, and for him, he's not going to give six pens unless they're blatant pens. You know, that first penalty, you know, if we were at a game and the fans go, go on, you know, the ref's going to give it. You know, we've given that pen, we haven't scored it. It's hard, he's not going to give another one. You know, that's just the way it is. Um, in terms of Callum Morton, yep, 100% he should have stayed on. Um, we, and we didn't put our chances away, Cheltenham did. They've got the 2 0 lead. That's the way it is. And, and you know, I think, fingers crossed, we can turn it over back at Cheltenham. So now another comment which has been a very popular comment I've read is about Callum Morton. Callum Morton should have played 90 minutes. Charlie Good fell asleep for the last 15 minutes. Oliver very poor. And that was from Jack Bedo. And that kind of was a, probably the most comment really I've seen a lot of is that Callum Morton should have played the 90 minutes. I don't know why he didn't. He ran for every single ball. He played for the shirt. Why he didn't play the 90 minutes is another question. Charlie Good fell asleep for the last 15 minutes. It's hard to say, really. Um, I felt he didn't do terrible, but like I said, the, the team didn't really have a good day in, you know, in terms of scoring and well defensively. Um, Oliver very poor. I think, yeah, he wasn't the best, and I'd simply be able think. I personally think it's because they just nullified him. They knew I was going to play, um, and that's just the way in football. And finally, to finish off, it's Chris Beggs. He said, seemed like we totally relied on a set-piece goal, but when we had a few passing moves forward, we looked okay. Need to mix it up for need to mix it up more, sorry. Uh, and then he really hit the nail on the head there. We're so direct, we're so obvious in how we play. We just need to mix it up a bit more. And then, you know, the Chapman of Defenders won't have a clue. It's so obvious we have for Dane Oliver where that ball's going. It's straight going to his head every time. Something needs to change. Um, try and get the ball to Adams more, but of course they know it. So something needs to change for the second leg. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Of course, we'll hope enjoyed in the best way possible. Of course, 2-0 is not the best way to go. Well, to really lose a home leg, is it? But there's always a chance. We still have one more game to play at Cheltenham. And fingers crossed we can overturn the results and get ourselves to Wembley. As I have the chance, I want to say thank you to everyone who voted for me and Matt in the Football Content Awards. It really means a lot. And hopefully we can win it in um, November is if it goes ahead at the Tottenham ground. So it will be a great day out for me and Matt. Like I said, thank you to everyone who had voted for us. Like I said, the match preview will be out on Sunday for the second leg of the game. Fingers crossed we can get the three points. Uh, and even if we win, you know, even if we don't go through it, it's but we're out the football club uh, and the fans as well. The, the, the cutout today was really fantastic seeing all them. Um, and it was such a, you know, it wasn't the three points that we wanted. It wasn't the result we wanted. But hopefully we can get a three points or, you know, overturn them and go to Wembley. Like I said, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Thank you for the, all the comments we've had. And we'll try and get as many as we can for next episode uh, or the review of the second leg. Make sure you guys comment and comment your score predictions for next week's game. And I'll see you again soon.